हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर धर्मेंद्र बहादुर सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स द भोपाल स्कूल ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस टुडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वन ऑफ द वेरी प्रोमिनेंट टॉपिक दैट इज वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स आउटलाइंस ऑफ द वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स आर हिस्ट्री ऑफ वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स मीनिंग ऑफ वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स फीचर्स ऑफ वैदिक मैथ्स वॉट इज वैदिक मैथ्स मेथड्स एडवांटेज ऑफ लर्निंग वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स अप्लीकेशन ऑफ वैदिक मैथ्स दी सिक्सटीन सूत्राज ऑफ वैदिक मैथ्स एंड टर्म्स एंड ऑपरेशन यूज इन वैदिक मैथ्स सो लेट एस बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द वैदिक मैथ एज वी ऑल नो दैट इन इंडिया इट इज वेल नोन फैक्ट and traditionally accepted that the vedas are the repository of all knowledge it's not only spiritual but also a divine source of the knowledge including science vedic mathematics astrology ayurveda architecture and many others so let us explain what is the historical background of vedic mathematics and how the vedic mathematics evolve in in india vedic maths comes from the vedas more specifically the atharveda it was revived by indian mathematician jagat guru sri bharati krishna tirtha ji between 1884 and 1960 he then published this work in a book called Vedic mathematics in 1965 it comprises 16 sutras or you can say formulae and 13 sub sutras now meaning of vedic mathematics as you can see the vedic mathematics is a combination of two words vedic as well as mathematics where vedic means knowledge and wisdom and mathematics means the abstract science of numbers thus it represents the knowledge of mathematics it was used by indian saints and sages arthat rishis it is an ancient technique which simplifies multiplication divisibility complex number squaring cubing square roots and cube roots etc the original copy of vedic mathematics was kept in a library of nagpur many of the works were either destroyed or stolen by british rulers now let us discuss about the important features of vedic maths first of all the important features number 1 integrity learning becomes easy because of the integrity of the vedic mathematics every sutra and sub sutra is correlated and uniform one rule may be applied in different operations second feature is a simplicity this is the unique feature of vedic maths it saves your time and increases your productivity third feature is creativity many methods apply on a single question it's inspire you to encourage your mind to find your unique approach to solve the problems the next one is fast learning in modern mathematics system student learn whole mathematical operation in almost 10 to 12 years besides of this vedic mathematic tricks can be gained by the same student in 6 or 9 months with utmost accuracy and fast results the next feature is algebraic connection one advantage of vedic mathematics is if you become good in arithmetic calculation and master on it the whole technique is also applicable to the algebraic problems innovation 
it gave chance to add creativity and innovation in modern mathematics. The next feature is fast and accurate result. It have been always observed that in the most of the problem solved in mind with a single step which saves time and less number of phase also increase the accuracy. Institutional abilities, as we have already discussed ki through Vedic mathematics it takes a very less time. So, less calculation work give a faster result. It encourages the student who are competing with each other to provide the speeder effect which increases his institutional abilities. Next feature, improve memory and concentration. Most of the calculation is done without the pen and paper. So, the student needs to retain his calculation result for further process. It will inevitably increase the retention memory of the student. Now, what are the Vedic Maths methods? Generally speaking, Vedic Maths or Vedic Mathematics is a collection of methods or sutras to solve numerical computations quickly and faster. It consists of 16 sutras called formulae and 13 sub sutras called sub formulae, which can be applied to solve a problem in arithmetic, algebra, geometry, calculus and conics etc. Now, what are the advantages of learning Vedic mathematics? It helps learner in developing interest in mathematics. As I told you already that because the Vedic mathematics is a very fast and accurate, that is why the student who are practicing this particular method, it will, it just develop some interest in mathematics. It also increases confidence level for competitive exams. It helps the learners in developing reasoning power. It helps the learners in developing speed and accuracy. It also help in enhancing memory power and concentration. The most crucial benefit in learning Vedic Maths is that the learner can use both left and right side of the brain at a time. Now, here are certain application of Vedic Maths or you can say practical approach of Vedic Maths based on their Sutra are Shuddha. Shuddha means pure. It is used in addition and subtraction of two numbers. Second application of Vedic Math, Urdhva Tiryabhyam, vertically and crosswise. It involves in multiplication. Then Dvajanka on the flag. It helps in division of two number. Dvandva Yoga, sum of pairs. It helps in finding squares, cubes, square root, cube roots. Then Niklam Navatsakaramam Dasata, all from 9 and last from 10. It is used to subtract any number from base number like 10, 100, 1000, lakhs, crores. Then the next application of Vedic math is Yavadunam means by deficiency. This application is used for multiplying two number closer to base. Then Anurupena, Anurupena proportionately. It is used for multiplying two numbers not closer to the base. For example, if you take 75 and your base is 100, so 75 is very far from the base 100. Then Paravartya Yojayet, transpose and adjust. 
it is used for division by using the transpose of the divisor. Then the last one is vilokanam by mere observation, by inspection. It is used to find the right solution by observing the value among all possible solutions. Here are the 16 sutras of uh, Vedic maths. Though all the sutras are given in Sanskrit, but I have just tried to write their meaning in terms of English. As you can see here, the first one is Ekadhina Purvena, means by one more than the previous one. Second one is all from 9, the last from 10. Third, vertically and crosswise. Fourth one is transpose and adjust. Fifth one is when the sum is same, that sum is 0. Anurupe means if one is in ratio, the other is 0. Next one is by addition and by subtraction. Eighth sutra is by the completion or non-completion. Ninth sutra is by calculus. Yavadunam, whatever the extent of its deficiency. Eleventh is specific and general. Twelfth is the remainder by the last digit. And thirteen is the ultimate and twice the penultimate. Fourteenth, by one less than the previous one. Fifteenth, the product of the sum of coefficient in the factors. And the last sutra is set of multipliers. So, as the important feature of the Vedic mathematics is uh, uh, integration. So, here in Vedic, Vedic with the use of an application of Vedic mathematics, any operation or any mathematical typical calculation can be solved with the help of Vedic Sutra. Any one Sutra can be applied in multiple problems. Here some of the important terms and operations which is used in Vedic mathematics. The first term is Ekadhina. Ekadhina means one more. For example, if someone asks you ki what is Ekadhina of 5? So, 5 plus 1 that is 6. Ekadhina of 4 that is 4 plus 1 that is 5. Second one is Ekanyanana means. Ekanyanana means one less. So, Ekanyanana of 1 is equal to 0 because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Ekanyanana of 5 is equal to 4. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Third term is Purak. Purak means complement from 10. If someone asks you ki what is the Purak of 1, so that is 9, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. What is Purak of 3? 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So, Purak of 3 is equal to 7. Rekhank means a digit with a bar on its top. It denotes the negative number. For example, suppose 5 bar. So, write 5 and then put bar at the top. That is called Rekhank a digit with a bar on its top is called Rekhank. Then Bijank. Bijank means sum of digit of a number added up to a get a single digit. For example, 20, uh, Bijank of 27, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. And Bijank of 358, just add 3 plus 5 plus 8, you will get 16. Then you again plus 1 plus 6 to get 7. So, Bijank of 358 is equal to 7. Means, you supposed to add e each and every digit till it will not be converted into the single digit. That is known as Bijank. The next term is Vinculum number. 
vinculum number means when we use positive and negative digit together, this is called vinculum number. For example, if 1, 2 and put bar on the top of 2, so that is known as vinculum number because here positive digit and negative digit are written together. Okay? So, these are the few terms and operation which are often used in Vedic mathematics. So, thank you viewers. I will be back with the, some of the numerical problems based on Vedic mathematics like uh, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, square and square root. Thank you. Jai Hind.